Hi, I'm back in Two Mile Boris, and as you can see, uh, these ICF homes are really taking shape now. We're beginning to start to see the roofs being put on, and in some of the houses, the additional floors being added. So I'm going to take you around, and I'm going to show you from the beginning, uh, pre-pour, to a second level pour as well, and uh, how the floors connect to the walls. Looking forward to showing you this, and please subscribe, and uh, all the latest videos will come to you. Here is a single story house and at the moment we're getting ready to pour this house. As you can see there's extensive um, support structure put into the window openings to ensure that uh, there's no buckling or collapse when the concrete is being poured. Concrete when it's been vibrated is extremely volatile and can make uh, the formwork burst very very easily. So as you can see here and as I've shown previously there's a lot of support which are used to prop up the inside panels of the ICF. The port supports are bolted to the slab here and then connected to this formwork, which uh, vertical formwork, which is in turn pinned into the ICF on its joint lines. This is the ground pre-pouring. As you can see in here at the bottom, it's damp proof coarse membrane which passes from the inside to the outside wall. This is a semi detached home, and as we can see, the ICF is used in the wall which separates both the houses. We will have a line cut out in the middle where the joint line meets the exterior, and a fire stop will be inserted from top to bottom. This to prevent the spread of fire passing through the ICF. Uh, which could lead to a fire occurring on the adjacent property. In this single story house, we have prefabricated truss roof, which is sitting on top of a three by four wall plate. The wall plate is bolted down into the concrete and lateral straps are inserted across the roof to tie it to the apex. This is some freshly poured concrete into the ICF formwork. As you can see, the vertical starter bars have been left for the next layers of foam to be inserted on top. Uh, they just sit quite nicely into this Lego format here below. You can see here they've used a line and that just keeps the straightness of the wall as it's been poured just to prevent any buckling or warping that might occur. We can also see the smart joists here. These joists are uh, a timber beam with the metal web and the metal web allows services to pass through uh, in any number of ways. So it provides great flexibility. These have been connected in to a perimeter beam here. You can see these large bolts which come straight through the ICF into the concrete and connect the perimeter beam and then the easy joists just sit nicely on top and are connected into that. Stay tuned to our next video where we'll show you um, how the concrete pouring process is undertaken and the tools and equipment that you need to pour the concrete into the cast formwork with the actual contractors at hand as they're working.